Hey folks, Matt from writeoftheimage.com. Just got an interesting question in from a viewer in the form of a comment on one of the videos um, regarding a Nikon D810 and a 24 to 120 f4 VR, which as you know is one of my favorite full frame lenses in the Nikon lineup, um, or a Fuji X-T2. And that's essentially the question here. We have a um, YouTube username Dudley Hollister writing in, um, and, and the, the first comment was D810 uh, slash 24 uh, to 120 f4 or Fuji X-T2. Uh, and then he had another further comment I found when I was going through the comments. I have a D810, a DF, both full frame, and a D500. So those are all Nikon bodies. And I just bought the Fuji X-T2. Normally, I wouldn't think of doing this, but with a really painful back problem, the Fuji is a godsend. I was pretty amazed by the image quality. I love my Nikons, but I'm going to be expanding on my Fuji gear and I have a feeling I'll be reducing my Nikon gear. So interesting feedback. Uh, I think this is in line with why a lot of people have switched to Fuji. Um, You've you got a combination of some very competent cameras, some really cool-looking cameras, and some amazing glass. Fuji's really paid attention to the glass, the quality, the construction, and what photographers want. They've listened to photographers on what they want in the glass lineup. I've got the, um, the little Fuji X-T20 here, which is actually my – would be my choice over the X-T2. It's, it's, I think, less than half the price still gives you 90% plus of what the X-T2 will do, uh, and it's smaller and lighter, and I just think I like the value for the price. Not knocking the X-T2 at all. The X-T2 is uh, more of the flagship, and for some people, they want to own the best, and, they, and there's a few extra features they want. However, I think this guy is a great choice. I also love this lens, the 50 uh, F2 that's on here. So um, just to flesh out the question and some of Dudley's comments here, when would I take, for instance, this X-T20 or an X-T2 and a Fuji setup? And when would I take an 810 and the 24 to 120F4 and a few other lenses from Nikon? When would I go Nikon full frame and the heavier uh, body? Well, the, the reason I would still maybe do Nikon is if I was doing more um, professional uh, work as far as maybe corporate and um, media work, in, in studio work. Uh, where I'm doing stuff where I, it's important to the client and perhaps important to post-production to have those bigger files, maybe that little bit of edge that the full frame goodness is giving you, the little bit of shallower depth of field. Those would be the things I'd be looking at. If I, if I was shooting stuff where I needed the bigger files, I needed the ultimate in image quality, and the shallower depth of field that I could get from full frame versus uh, DX was that important to me. Then I'd be looking at the Nikons. And I love a setup with a D810, um, the 24 to uh, 120 f4 VR, again, one of my favorite lenses. And then I would probably have an 85 f14 uh, or f18G, as well as a few other lenses, depending on what my shooting needs were. Now, if I'm not doing that type of photography, I'm say I'm doing weddings and portraits, I think I'd be leaning towards a couple of X-T20s. Probably this lens right here, the 50 f2. This would be a nice portrait lens. It's close to an 85 millimeter with the uh, with the crop sensor, and uh, then I would also probably just use the kit lens, the 18 to 55 f2.8 to 4. Very competent. One of the nicest kit lenses ever made. You've probably heard me say that before. I love that lens, and uh, and that's a great setup. And the advantages here is less money for one thing, less cost, but smaller and lighter, which. As Dudley was saying, you know, as you as we age or as we have health problems or issues or back problems, this is a lot lighter camera to be carrying around than a D810 is with a lens setup, especially if you need a pair. A lot of times you're shooting professionally, you should be shooting with a backup camera. So a lot of us will shoot a pair of the same body. Two XT20s is pretty light. Two 810s is not light. And then you got all the extra additional larger glass. So, um, you know, if I'm doing... Outdoors photography, I'm hiking, backpacking, travel, XD20s, fantastic, fantastic lens lineup available there. You can carry those all day long without a sore back. You want to go hiking into the woods with a pair of 8 to eight tens and some huge glass, you better have um, a pack mule. <laughs> um, not to say people don't do it, but again, the, the size and weight is a huge consideration and, and not to be overlooked. Image quality is amazing out of these. Is it on par with an 810? No, the 810 is going to be that little bit better. The X-T20 or the X-T2 or the X-Pro2 is going to be very close. It's a very, very good imaging system. And uh, that's not a knock on it. That's to say that, hey, when they can make a sensor, a crop sensor in these smaller bodies that's close 
to what the quality you can get out of a full frame D810 36 megapixel file is. That's a big feather in Fuji's cap. So those are the reasons why I would look at one over the other and why I might choose the Fuji in one situation and why I might choose the Nikon in the other. Um, so just kind of uh, flushing out Dudley's comments. It looks like he's already kind of well underway of going towards the Fuji system. But for the rest of you out there that are considering this type of switch or are, are in the midst of one, some additional thoughts. And, and then, of course, I want to throw it out to you guys. Um, for those of you that have done it, have switched over to Fuji, are considering it, um, are underway like Dudley is, let me know in the comments below. Um, what are the factors causing you to do it most? Is it the size and weight? Is it the cost? Uh, is it just that you really like the Fuji lens lineup or the bodies themselves? I mean, we've got 4K in these new bodies. The X-T20, the X-T2 has nice 4K. Um, let us know what is influencing you or has influenced you. And uh, interested to hear your feedback. Thanks for your comments and questions, Dudley. Uh, stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at ArtOfTheImage.com.